Hey guys, what up? It's Ivan Timberwolf here, and today I bring you this crossing gate I made. I'm gonna review the crossing first of all, so you guys like know what kind of equipment I used. Okay, so I mainly want to talk about the gate saver. Vehicles come through, they can hit the gate saver, which will cause the light to tear off like this. We are now gonna be testing the gate saver. I'm gonna go get my scooter. Hey guys, what up? It's Ivan Timberwolf here, and today I bring you this crossing gate I made. It took me two weeks to make this, and this was very hard work. Credit to my dad for the gate saver and the base and the pole, but the rest of it I made by myself. I'm going to review the crossing first of all, so you guys like know what kind of equipment I used and stuff like that. Basically, I used wood, some screws, and uh, some cardboard for logos and this stuff. First of all, I want to show you the sign. In case of emergency, call Eastern Pacific Railroad. Like someone can call me in case the gate breaks or something like that, but that's not possible because the gate saver. Okay, so I mainly want to talk about the gate saver. Me and my dad worked on this half the morning and it took us some pretty hard work and we had to test out a lot of different options to make it. So gate saver works is when like a vehicle hits the gate, it just moves aside. It just moves aside, causing it no harm, and just j jumps right back. But the main problem with gate savers is when a vehicle strikes the gate saver very hard, um, it, one of the gate lights tends to fly off. Like, for example, a truck hits a gate, and the gate lights can actually fall off because they don't really have tight grips. They use the same exact screws as these. So this is also adjustable. This is an NEG gate light, not the size of a real life one, the real life one would be at least this, the base would be at least this big and the gate light would be at least this big. So they're much more bigger than you think they are. So anyways, a uh, truck would probably hit, hit the gate saver and then um, the gate light would eventually like hang on by a wire exactly like that. Anyways, that can cause more damage as more vehicles come through. They can hit the gate saver, which will cause the light to tear off like this. It will swing around a lot, a lot, and then it, finally it will tear off or break completely. These are all NEG gate lights. They're custom made. National Gate Electric incandescence. Let's get on to the main signal. Um, come here, guys. We have a Siemens gate mechanism and Safetran 8-inch LEDs. I mean, oh, sorry, incandescent. Um, this is not the real size, they are much more bigger than this, and this is not how they actually are. This is fake, this is a picture, and this is not real. Real ones, they're about this, th this to this big, they're very big. We have a Western Colon Hayes junction box, and we have uh, a Reiko mechanical bell. I knocked it over one time by punching it. Um, the gate lights, all the gate lights, uh, gate lights ended up ended up getting like smashed up, and one of the lights broke off, so I fixed it. And this crossbox fell off, and the bell split in half. It split apart from its base. The gate saver can ba bend up to at least this much, and if it will go any more, then it will break the spring. See, I told you, that's the main problem. When it goes like this, it scrapes the ground. Me and my dad are gonna try to find a solution to this. Um, we will show you what we've done to upgrade it. Comment below what you think would be the solution to fix it. And in case you're wondering what we did, come on this side. Let me open my, the gate for my dad, he can come over. So this is basically it. Um, it, it these are the two hinges, this is the hinge. And this is the problem. It's supposed to be like this. But something is wrong with this bolt right here, which makes it go down. The hinge is a little too big, and that's why it goes down. It's supposed to be like this. It goes down. It's because of the hinge. And if you guys know any solutions, please comment below. It would be really helpful. The gate saver, yeah, I can bend up to uh, at least, before scraping the ground, how much can it bend up to? Uh, about 40 degrees, 40, 45 degrees, I'm not sure. The gate lights always tend to fall off when someone smashes it into the gate. We are now going to be testing the gate saver, and I'm going to go get my scooter. Um, 
you guys saw that, right? The gate snapped in half. After like about two minutes of, no, around five minutes of fixing with me and my dad, and we came up with a new technique to help the gate from being broken in half. Two screws back here, along with hot glue on the insides of these, and um, a wooden board behind so it can support it. So it's really unbreakable right now. I'm gonna do, use all my strength. Unbreakable. Um, let's test it once again.